Warren Buffett once said that the best results come from thinking more and doing less. So in today's video, we'll be doing exactly that by having AI agents do the heavy thinking for us while we just sit back, do less and get our viral ads. So I've just typed in a prompt saying that we want to generate an ad for a skateboard brand called Parcel. And then inside the ad, we'll just want to include a shot of the skateboard with the brand name on the deck and then show a skater doing a trick. And then finally, we want this to be as aesthetic as possible. And then after patiently waiting a few minutes, we get back our link with our high quality ad. Now here's what our final product looks like. So as you can see here, we have the brand name called Parcel on the skateboard. And then if we were to play the video, we can see that it follows our instructions exactly. We have a skateboarder using this and then it performs a trick while maintaining an aesthetic video. Now, obviously you can continue refining or tweaking the ad based on your own preferences, but for ourselves here, all I did was literally type in a sentence and we got this pretty good looking ad. Now let's take a peek at how we're actually generating the video, how we created this AI agent and make sure to stay until the end and I'll show you how you can implement this yourself in 10 minutes or less. So at a mile high view, this is how our AI agent works. We can first type in the instructions for the type of ad we want directly within Telegram. Then we'll send this over to an AI agent, which will take our instructions and create a custom JSON output that's a little bit more refined and formatted for video generation. So for example, instead of just saying skateboard trick, it will describe the scene in detail, the type of camera work needed, the style, and even descriptions of motion inside the video. Then once we have our golden prompt here, we can send it directly to VEO3, which is currently the most powerful AI video generation model on the market right now. Finally, we'll do the easy task, which is to wait one or two minutes, get back our video, and from there, we'll have a high quality ad to use in either our brand or business. And with the right instructions and prompts, you can create some pretty high quality ads that are comparable to large scale companies with millions of dollars inside their sales and marketing. Now, before building this from scratch, if you want this template as well as full in-depth guides on building AI agents as a complete beginner, then make sure to check out my school community in the description. And if you're a business owner that wants to learn how to actually use AI to grow your business from lead generation, content marketing, and even custom AI systems, then make sure to check out our website in the description at AIPathways.io. Now let's go ahead and build this from scratch inside N8N. Now, if you're unaware, N8N is a no code workflow builder. So you can use this to build out complex workflows, automations, and agents without writing a single line of code. And it's completely free for two weeks or completely free if you choose to self-host it instead. So just make sure to sign up for an account and you can follow along to build out the same exact workflow that I have here. Now, what we'll first need to do is set a trigger and this is what starts our entire agent workflow. So in our case, we're gonna be using Telegram, but if you prefer to use something like Gmail, Slack, or even WhatsApp, WeChat, you can use any of those triggers instead. So here, I'll just go ahead and click add first step and then we'll type in Telegram. And we wanna make sure that we do this on message. All this means is that every single time we send a message to our Telegram bot, it'll start this workflow. And if this is your first time inside N8N, you'd have to connect to Telegram. So the way you would do this is go ahead and click create new credential, sign in to your Telegram account, and then just simply open these docs and follow the instructions here to connect your Telegram account to N8N. After this, we'll need to set an example on how to create the custom JSON prompt. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we want to create one that's tailored for video generation. So even if we say something like skateboard here, we want the output to be something a bit more tailored for video generation models. And one way we can do this is simply by copying and pasting other successful prompts so that we can mirror exactly how they made it. So let's first add a node here and then we'll set this to be a set field node. So go ahead and click edit fields. Then simply click add field here and we'll just call this an example because again, we want to give an example prompt of what it should look like. Now here you can have a little bit more liberty as to what you want to choose as your example prompt. But on Twitter, there's tons of examples of different types of VEO3 videos that people have made and they even give you the prompts so that you can copy their style exactly. Here's an example of an Ikea ad. And then scrolling down here, we have an example of a Lego ad. And clicking into it, we can just simply copy and paste this entire JSON prompt if we do like the style that this ad is in. And then if you don't, if you scroll down here, we also have a Nike prompt. So if you want something more so in this style, simply click into it and then copy and paste this entire JSON output. So this way we can mimic our video generation output to be just exactly like how they set it here. And again, all of these videos are all created through VEO3. So you can hope to achieve something similar, if not just like something they would post here. And then now heading back here, just simply 
click expression so we can open this up and then if we paste this in this is what it looks like so we have the description of the video the style the camera work lighting room elements and again these just kind of expand on your prompt so if we were to type in something like skateboard it'll give a more thorough description of the skateboard it'll tell you what style to use for the skateboard video the camera the lighting and again we're not copying this one to one but we do want to have all of these elements inside our new kind of improved prompt so that our final video is going to look a lot better. Now, moving on, we can pass this information over to an AI agent, which will, again, create the custom prompt for us. So what we're going to do is basically mix mash what we sent to Telegram and then have it generate a custom prompt based on what we give as an example. So to show you what I mean, click add another step. We'll go ahead and click AI and then select AI agent. Then for the source for prompt, we're going to define our own prompt here. So we'll do define below. And then for the instructions, just simply click open the expression. And for this user message, all we want to say is to create a high quality video ad JSON prompt. Because again, all we care about is the prompt using the text below. And then we want to reference the text that we sent to Telegram. So I just quickly went to Telegram and typed in hot dog flying through the air. So we'll create a video ad of a hot dog. So if we click back into Telegram trigger, we should see that text right here, which says create an ad of a hot dog flying through the air. We want to make sure our brand name Frank is on the hot dog. So simply drag that text just in here like so. And as you can see on the result, we're going to create a high quality video ad using the text below. Next, we're going to want to make sure that the output is in JSON format. So click require specific output format and we can connect an output parser later. And then finally, we're going to add a system message. And this is going to tell the AI model to reference our previous example, which again is the one we set here. So we're going to take our own text, which is hot dog ad, and then mash it into the previous example so that they're going to create a more robust prompt for us. So heading back into the AI agent, let's click add option and then add a system message. Then click expression so that we can open up the system message since we're going to reference some of our previous nodes as well. And you can feel free to copy my text here exactly or come up with your own. But super quick, I just typed in you're an expert AI video prompter. Your job is only to produce high quality prompts to generate AI video ads. So the user will provide a description of the type of ad that they want to make. Then we're going to have the AI agent generate a JSON output just like the one below, but replaced with the user's details. So now we can simply drag over the example here below. So again, what we're doing is generating a JSON output like this example here. And the example was from the Nike swoosh. And we're going to replace it with the details of the hot dog. And if there is insufficient information, we're going to fill the rest according to the example and what would make sense with the user's prompt. And just as a bonus, we're going to add a think tool to the AI agent. And this is just going to force the agent to think hard before providing a response. So this way it's going to give a higher quality prompt. So here I just typed in always use the think tool before generating a response. Now we can begin connecting our chat models, tools, and output parser to our AI agent. So starting from left to right, let's go ahead and add the chat model, which in our case will be OpenAI, but you can use any other AI model if you have a preference. But for us, I would typically use 4.1 or 4.1 mini. And if this is your first time using NADN, what you would need to do is simply create a new credential and then go to openai.com, get your API key and just simply paste it in here. Next, let's go ahead and connect our think tool, which is going to force the AI agent to think before it provides a response. So just simply type in think and this will invite the AI agent to do some thinking. And then finally, we're just going to want to force the AI agent to produce a JSON output. So go ahead and click add output parser and then we'll click this structured output parser. Then this is super simple. We can replace this example with prompt instead. And then what this will be is just simply the prompt in JSON format. And then feel free to delete the rest here. And then once that all looks good, we should have all the components needed for our complete AI agent. So if we test this step, let's see if it takes our hot dog ad and then fits it into a more detailed output. And awesome, we can see we have a more detailed prompt. So what we said initially was just to create an ad of a hot dog flying through the air, make sure our brand name Frank is on the hot dog. But now we have a much more in-depth description that says dynamic, playful shot of a hot dog. Then we have the motion blur details. Obviously, we still want the branded name Frank, etc. But again, this is just going to fit what we set here in the text to be something more in tune with the example that we gave it. 
So you can think of our prompt essentially being done. And now we can pass this information to VEO3 and actually generate our video. Now, the way we're going to generate our video isn't directly through VEO3. We're going to use an API called Key or KIE. And this is currently the cheapest way to integrate AI videos inside NADN. So all you need to do is sign up for an account and you get one free video generation. But I would recommend just loading up your account with like $5 and you'll have enough. So the website here is just called KIE.AI. And then again, just simply sign up for your account and then we can head over to the VEO3 API. Now inside the VEO3 API documentation, this will tell you everything you need to know to essentially connect this to NADN. And if this seems a little bit technical or difficult, don't worry, it's super simple. I'll walk you through every single step here. So first, what we need to do is send an HTTP request. And this just basically connects to the API and lets them know that we want to generate a video. And as we can see here, it's a post request. So heading back into NADN, go ahead and click add another node and then type in HTTP request right here. And then again, the method is post. So change this to post. And then you can simply copy and paste from the documentation back to NADN. So if you head back over to the documentation, so just simply copy over this URL here, which is HTTPS API dot key dot AI VEO generate, then head back to our HTTP request and then paste that URL in exactly. Next, we'll need to actually connect this NADN workflow to our key API profile. So this is where we're going to authenticate. So go ahead and type in generic credential type. Then for the authorization type, go ahead and select header auth. And I already have my header auth set, but presumably this is your first time doing this. So what you would need to do is click create new credential. Then inside this pop-up, we'll type in authorization for the name. And then for the value, this is where we're going to paste in our API key. So from the dashboard, go ahead and click API key right here. And then you can copy your API key exactly and make sure to never share this with anyone since they can essentially run through all your credits if they have this key. And now that we have the key copied, we can paste it in here. But another thing that the documentation lets us know is that we have to have the name bearer in front of the key. So let me click this open into expression so you can see what I'm typing. But what you want to type here is capital B and bearer space and then paste in your API key. The name is authorization. The value is bearer space and then your API key. Then click save and you should have your credential successfully created. Next, we'll need to tell the API what type of video we actually want to make. And the way we would do this is by sending over the body. So if you head back over into the documentation here, we can see that inside the body, this is where we can input the prompt. So this is what type of video we want to create. And then inside this body, we can also tell them what model to use. So you can choose either VEO3 or VEO3 fast. Now I would recommend VEO3 fast since the regular model does take up a ton of credits, but again, it depends on how much you want to top up your account with. And then scrolling down, the last thing we need to include inside the body is this aspect ratio. Now, this is more so depending on your own preferences. But if you want this ad, for example, to only be displayed on mobile devices, you would choose the portrait video format, which is 9 by 16. Or if you want this ad to be more so viewed on a desktop, then it'd be 16 by 9, which is their landscape video format. Knowing all of that, let's go ahead and input the prompt aspect ratio as well as the model. So the body type here is going to be JSON. And then what we can do is just click use JSON and then type it in ourselves. So open up the expression and then you can copy my expression exactly. But all we have again are those three aspects. We care about the prompt, the model and the aspect ratio. So for the prompt, what I did, let me go ahead and delete this so you can understand. I just simply dragged over the prompt that we got from the previous AI agent. So the prompt, rather than just hot dog flying through air, it has this dynamic, playful shot of hot dog soaring, blah, blah, blah. You have all this text here below, and then we can see this is basically the whole entire prompt. Then below this, we'll want the model, which is VEO3 fast, and the aspect ratio, which for me is going to be 16 by 9. But again, if you want this to be played on mobile devices, it'd be 9 by 16. And now the final thing we need to do is actually stringify this current prompt here. So super simple. In front of JSON output, just type in json.stringify, parentheses, and parentheses here. So basically what we did is set this prompt to be in a string format. And now if we execute the step, we should be able to see a success message. Perfect. And then we have the task ID here, which is basically letting us know that our video is in the queue. 
So now that we sent a request to basically generate our video, we need to wait and get our video back. So what we can do is add in a wait node. So type in wait, and this will essentially delay the time it takes between waiting and actually receiving the video. Now I would set this to be around 120 seconds. I found that this is more than enough to wait to generate your video, but obviously this can vary. Sometimes it could be shorter or slightly longer, but this seems to be a good middle spot. So now after waiting for the two minutes, our video should be done by this point. So what we can do is add in another node, which is to get the video info back. So we'll once again use an HTTP request, but rather than doing a post, we're going to use a get method. And let me show you why that is. So if we head back over into documentation, we originally used this post and we used this URL here or which you can see here as well, which is to post the video, essentially sending it to the queue to generate. But once the video is done generating, then we'll want to get the video details back. And this is why we're going to use a second step, which is get video. So here we'll do the same thing and copy this URL, just like we did in the previous step. But we can see that now it's called record info instead of generate. So heading back into NADN inside this get URL, we'll paste this in. So again, what we're doing here is posting the video. So we're sending a request to generate. Then we're going to wait two minutes, 120 seconds for the video to actually generate. And it's important that you actually wait these two minutes. That's why we add this node here, because if you try to do the next step without waiting the two minutes, you won't be able to get back the video details. So after we waited the two minutes, then we'll use this second HTTP request to get the video details. So this is where we'll get the URL of the video. So just like last time inside authentication, what we'll need to do is select generic credential type, and this will be a header auth once again. We'll want to set the header auth here to be the same one we used in the first HTTP request, which is header auth account five. And then this time we don't need to send any information in the body. They already know the prompt. All we need to do is get back the video details. So just simply click the send query parameters. And then all we care about is this task ID. So for the name, type in task capital I D, make sure it's capital or else this won't work. And then go ahead and drag this over so that we get the task ID here. So now if we execute the step, we should see the video information details. So we can see there's a success. We have the parameters. And then if we scroll all the way down, we have the URL, which actually has our video. Now, as a final step, all we need to do is send this URL back to Telegram. So add in one final step, which is Telegram. And then from Telegram, all we wanna do is send a text message. So you see this here, send a text message. And for the chat ID, We'll scroll all the way down, open up this Telegram trigger, paste back in this chat ID so we know which chat to send this URL back to. And then for the text, if we scroll back up, all we care about is this result URL. So drag this in here and execute the step. And awesome, we should have the video URL now inside our Telegram. So here's what our Telegram looks like. We have the URL right here and I pasted it into the browser and we can see our final product. So let me play this and we have the Frank hot dog ad. So we can see it's stamped Frank on the buns and this looks pretty good. I mean, it's not the Nike ad, but it's pretty close in style and video aesthetics. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps out the channel. And again, if you're a business owner and you want to learn how to actually master AI and use it to grow your business, make sure to check our website in the description at AIPathways.io.